What works for you may not work for others, okay? So with that being said, this is how I do my baking soda mask. First things first, I never use baking soda by itself. I'm telling y'all, I always mix my baking soda for my mask with olive oil, honey, and a little bit of lemon juice. I never use this by itself. So I'm going to take just not even a whole, oh sh shucks, I'm dropping stuff. So that's about as much baking soda as I use. I always use more honey than baking soda because I have sensitive skin. I, I am somebody who has sensitive skin and I purposely put more honey because honey has that soothing effect. So as you can see this, I have way more honey I have way more honey than I have baking soda. You take just a little bit of lemon juice. You don't need a lot of lemon juice because it's acidic. So yes, it's going to have a little burning sensation to it, okay? If you start mixing that up, it's going to create a paste. But it's not all the way pasty like I need it to be. So then that's when I go in with my olive oil. And I'm going to put just a little pinch and all I need is a little pinch because I want to create that paste. That is the paste that I had on my face last night. I'm obviously not going to put this on my face today because like I said, I only use this, if anything, twice a month. I don't use this regularly because baking soda does have a high pH. So yes, I know a lot of people were posting on my other video like, it burns, you know, you shouldn't use it. Look, again, you should always patch test. Don't ever, ever, ever put anything on your skin without patch testing First, and I am talking about products from the store too. You want to make sure that nothing is going to irritate the skin. But like I said, that is how I use the baking soda for my face. Whatever works for you works. If you want to try it, try it. But don't take my word for it. Always do your research. One of my favorite things to do for my face is to make an oatmeal and baking soda mask. I use this Arm & Hammer baking soda, about two tablespoons, some oat flour, and a little bit of warm water, and you just mix. 
You want to get this until it's a pretty thick consistency so that when you put it on your face, it spreads evenly. Apply with your fingertips in a circular motion. This helps exfoliate the dead skin cells. Leave on for five minutes. After it's dry, rinse with warm water, leaving no trace behind. Dry your face completely, add a little bit of moisturizer, and you have an all natural exfoliating face mask using Arm & Hammer baking soda. Hey you guys, good morning. TikTok made me get up out of my bed and do this this morning, you guys. So I've been seeing where everyone has been using this mask that has baking soda, extra virgin olive oil, honey, and then also lemon juice. But I didn't have any lemon juice, so I just went ahead and added the other three ingredients, and we're going to try this out. So as you guys know, I have been going through menopause for the past few years and I'm in my 40s. I've never really dealt with acne in my younger years, you guys. And now that I'm going through all these hormonal changes, I have these periodic breakouts, okay? So recently, I've been using this turmeric soap that has shea butter in it as well. And I will say I've been kind of liking the results, but I did want to just maybe add a little something else um, to my regimen. So that's why I'm going to go ahead and try out this mask now. This mask is supposed to be used from what I'm finding um, about two to three times a month. So because this is my first time using it, like I said, we'll go ahead and use it without the lemon juice. But the next time that I apply this mask to my face, I'm going to add a little bit of lemon juice as well. So after I do my regular morning routine where I wash my face with the turmeric soap, I went ahead and I added this mask and I let it sit on my face for about 10 minutes. And then I rinsed it off, you guys. And I will say that my face felt so amazing. Uh, my skin feels so soft. And then, of course, you know, we have to make sure we clean up the bathroom afterwards because water is going to be everywhere, honey. But try it out and let me know what you guys think. Okay, let's try the, the, the face mask. Pack. In here, I have some raw honey, some bananas, and a teaspoon of baking soda. This method, just like you saw in the videos, is in case you have a sensitive skin, you can include the honey, the banana, and we're going to add some olive oil in here once we mix this. Now I'll go ahead and add my olive oil. This is the olive oil that I'll be adding. Um, you can add just like a teaspoon. I'll just add it down. And I'm gonna keep mixing. I'll show you guys the final product. This is the consistency you wanna be looking for. It should be just like a paste. And now I'm gonna wash my face. The hack says you need to wash your face with um, a cleanser, okay? I'm gonna wash my face and I'll be right back. Hey, I'm back. I just washed my face. Now I'm gonna be using this to apply a baking soda face mask. Oops, just make a mess on me. Okay. It says that from the videos I watch and I've shared with you guys, if you have a sensitive skin, you can mix the baking soda with, with honey and also with, uh, you can add some banana, some oil, olive oil to produce your mask. And also, if you don't have a sensitive, sensitive skin, just go ahead and uh, mix the baking soda with water and apply. And you don't have to keep it on your face for too long because of the acidity of how strong baking soda is. It should not be more than 10 minutes 
I'm still applying. And don't forget, after you keep the face mask for 10 minutes, after you wash your face, you can use any moisturizer of your choice. And this is the moisturizer I'm going to be using. I'm going to be using this, um, this Pharmacy Brighten Up Toner, followed by my Gentle Face uh, Cetaphy face moisturizer after I wash my face you can use anything that you have and this is the cleanser that I used to wash my face before I started applying the mask you can use any cleanser of your choice any one you have okay I'm gonna leave this on my face for 10 minutes and I will be back to show you guys the result before I wash it, how it looks. Oh, right. hey guys, I'm back. I couldn't keep it for up to 10 minutes because my face is tingly. Okay, we're gonna wash it now and we'll be back. All right. I'm back, I just washed my face. I'm gonna pack dry. And let's see the result. I see the result. Hmm. Did you see how my face my face looks now? Yeah. I'm sorry, guys. I couldn't keep it on my face for ten minutes, like I saw in the videos, like we saw. Now I'm gonna apply my toner. So far, so good. My face is looking fresh and soft. Yeah. I'm going to do my face toner now, brighten up, just going to okay. I'm going to go in with my Cetaphy um, face moisturizer, acne. Face moisturizer. If you're in, um, if you have watched this video so far, please don't forget to leave me your comments. Have you tried this hack before? Will you be trying? Give me a thumbs up, and also don't forget to. Subscribe. How do you see? Thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope this video was interesting. It was helpful. Give it a try. And let me see you drop your comments down below. Bye.